Here in this video, we'll see a problem on sectional orthographic projections. For that, here is the question. Figure below shows pictorial view of a bracket. Draw to full size scale the following views by using first angle method of projection. Number one, elevation in the direction of arrow X. Plan and sectional end view in the direction of arrow B. Section is along AA. So this is the question in front of us. Whenever you have such questions, first get the total length, height and width of the object. So let us get started here. When I'm looking along X direction, the total length when I can see here is given as from this corner up to the corner here, which is 80 mm. Then for the total height from bottom up to the center, this height is 80 mm. Then from this center up to the top, it is equal to radius of outer circle. Outer circle diameter is 40. So radius is 20. 20 plus 80 that is 100. And the total width when I am looking along this direction. That is arrow B. Which is the left hand side view. From here I will see the total width. And that is it is 15 plus from this corner up to the center it is 20 so 35 mm and from here that is from the center up to the end outer circle is having diameter 25 so radius is 12.5 so it is 20 plus 12.5 that is 32.5 plus 15 it means 47.5 that will be the total width Now once the length, height and width are understood, I can start with the problem and here I'll explain the spacing first. Now here, front view will be in VP and similarly the side view will also be in VP. Here we have to draw the left hand side view. Now, left hand side view will be by using first angle method of projection, it will be drawn on the right hand side in VP. So side view is here, that is towards right in VP. Front view should be on left side. And from the front, the length and height are visible. So here I draw a rectangle of length 80 and height 100. Here I'll measure the height which is 100 mm. So inside this rectangle will be the front view. Then from the top the height is not visible, length and width are seen. So length will be projected from the front view and width I'll mark here. And the width is 47.5 mm. Then for the side view, here I'll select a point. Measuring angle 45 degree. Then from the side, the length is not visible, height and width are seen. Height, I'll get it from the front view. Then 
with a project from the top view. Inside this rectangle, I'll be drawing the side view. So here will be the front view. In HP, there will be the top view and adjacent to the front view will be side view. Now, once we have understood the spacing part, here I can start with the front view. Now looking along X direction, I can see that the object looks completely symmetric about this vertical line. So the first thing that I will do here is draw the center line. Looking from the front, the first thing that is visible to me are these surfaces having the rectangle and the circular portion which will look like a rectangle itself and even here. So drawing these surfaces now, they have a length of 13 mm as can be seen here and then the height is up to 50 mm. So for that taking 13 mm and that too if I see into the diagram here this is 13 and 13 from the other side. So this will be 32 plus 13 that is 45 mm again 13 that gives me 58 mm. So the total length of this part is 58 so for that from the center I take 29 mm on one side twenty nine on the other side and then drawing light vertical lines through these points The diameter of the circle is 25 mm. It means the height is 25 mm. So the diameter is 25 mm. I'll measure it over here. Then the rectangle is having a length of 10 mm so and if I see here the gap in between is 32 so I'll measure that gap taking 16 16 on both the sides Then the height is 50 mm here, so I'll measure it from the bottom. Next, the rectangle is having a length of 10 mm. Measuring 10, 10 on both the sides. Projecting light lines, light vertical lines. Then I take the center of the circle here. I've taken that height as 25, so 12.5 mm. Drawing the center line here. Looking from the front, these two circles are also visible, that is this circular face. So I locate the center of the circle, it is 80 mm from below, exactly at the center. So taking the height as 80 mm. Outer circle is having diameter of 40 mm. 
inner circle is diameter 20 so for the outer circle i will take radius 20 and that is already we are having that distance it is from the center up to the top then inner circle is having diameter 20 so i'll take radius 10 drawing them light next here this 50 mm height plate and this surface they are onto the same level so for that i already have that 50 mm distance so projecting them next here are the points which needs to be connected to the circular surface in the form of a tangent then after that in the middle of the surface there is this shape so that shape i have to draw and it is located here the center of the semicircle which is below it is 20 mm from bottom so i'll take that distance twenty mm from bottom and from there i'll draw a light line that will be indicating the center next that semicircle is having radius 8 as can be seen here so i'll measure that 8 mm keeping this center next after that there is a height of 14 mm and then another semicircle so from this center i'll take the height as 14 mm drawing light line through it then keeping the same radius the center is shifted over here and another semicircle. Now joining them with the help of light lines. So this portion will be seen. Now after that here the corner is having radius 5 similarly onto the other side that I will draw. taking 5 mm distance measuring on both sides similarly here so getting these centers then i'll start making it dark because here we have to draw the plain front view that is only elevation not the sectional front view so here i'll start making it dark then 
I'll start making it dark by joining all the points here. Then the rectangular plate along with the circle which is seen as a rectangle. So these surfaces are seen, then going for the hidden part, inside these two circles there are another circles of diameter 12, Both of in both of them, for that the center already we have, for diameter 12 I'll take 66mm on both the sides of the center line. Then drawing them hidden. So this is the front view along with the hidden circles. Here I'll draw the center line. So this is the front view, then we have to draw the plan which is the top view and in the top first thing which is visible to me as an observer are these surfaces. So the length of the circle I'll get it from the front view, its width is 20 so for that and getting the center line projected first Circle is having width 20 mm. Then the two rectangles, that is, these sloping surfaces, will appear as rectangles of width 15 mm. So I'll measure 15 from one side, similarly from other side. And where these rectangles go into the circle, for that I'll project the tangent. Then after this, looking from top, even these two rectangles of 10, 10 mm length are visible and they are up to the total width. So I'm connected to this 15 mm plate, for that I'll project their lengths. Next, looking from top, the circle is having diameter 25, so its width is 25, and the length of the circle I'll get it from the front view. So, here I'll measure that width 25, similarly onto the other side. Here I'll start making them dark, so drawing this dark line. You, these rectangles since they, are, since they are connecting the circular surface so make them slightly curved next 
the rectangle along with the circle which are looking as rectangles from the top and then the portion of the rectangle which is going inside the circle that has to be made hidden so i can say that this is the visible top view then going for the hidden part again here there are two circles of diameter 12 hidden in both the plates so getting the center The circle are having diameter 12, so I'll get their radius from the front. So these are the hidden circles. Then after that this line will be hidden that is it will be joined which goes inside the circle looking from top there is a circle inside this plate which is 20 mm in width circular plate then after that inside this 15 mm width plate there is this surface which won't be seen from the top so it is a hole projecting it So here is the complete top view then going for the side view now going for the side view when I am looking from left hand side in that case the first thing which is visible to me is the circular face and it is starting from this right hand side width circle is having diameter 25 so first I will get the center of the circle that will be from the front view. Taking this radius, marking it over here. Inside that, there is another circle of diameter 12. I'll project its radius from the front view, it is shown hidden here. Here there is a rectangle of 15 mm width projecting the width from the top view. Then here if we see one rectangle is vertical and the other one is inclined. So between them there should be a dark line which indicates change of plane that dark line is at 50 mm height so the height i'll get it from the front view then here this line is connected to the circle so again at 50 mm height that should be the tangent to the circle having one point contact next 
after that looking from the side in that case this portion is ahead that is the circular portion now it is having width of 20 so projecting the width from the top view then getting the height of the circle from the front view and first projecting its center line inside that there is another circle which will be through i'll project it next here this portion will not be seen from the side it has to be hidden so projecting it its height from the front view then here in the question it is mentioned that we have to draw the sectional end view which is nothing but the sectional side view in the direction of arrow b and section is along aa so here is this direction arrow b which indicates the left hand side view and here i'll draw that section lines this is the section line or when I will be drawing it completely that will be called as a section plane so this is the section plane and when it passes through this diagram along section AA it will cut the object into two halves and we are looking from this direction so I will remove the portion which is in front of me now whatever will be left that will be called as the sectional end view or the sectional side view so if we see here at first when the plane passes it cuts this thickness that is the circle and we are going to see the rectangle then again the bottom rectangle and then this 15 mm plate is getting cut so i'll start making it dark step by step then after reaching up till here when the half portion is removed here this rib and this rib they are not getting cut so sectioning should not be there on the rib but the semicircular surface is divided into two halves so that will be seen as a rectangle then after that here this portion is also getting cut so it will be appearing as a rectangle then here when this portion is going to get cut the surface of below this semicircle will be ahead and this surface is behind so separating them there is the dark line similarly sectioning will be here in this bottom plate
and this hole will remain as it is because when you are cutting passing the cutting plane through it then this surface will be seen as a rectangle so here after shading this surface inside which there should be sectioning i'll take any reference into the diagram and measure an angle of 45 degree through that point and then drawing the section lines parallel to it So this is the sectional end view or we can say the sectional side view. Then here I'll draw the center line for this circle. Then after reaching up till here, I would be giving the dimensions here starting with the front view and in this case, you can give any 10 important dimensions. Those are enough. So here, outer circle. having diameter 40 then inner circle having 20 mm diameter then The rectangles are of 10 mm length and this circular disc is having a length of 13 then radius of the semicircle radius is 8 mm then after that the distance between the centers this height is 14 mm This height is 50 mm. This corner is having radius of 5. So, here after giving the dimensions up till here from the bottom to this center line the height is 80 mm then giving the dimensions in the top view
this is the cutting plane AA. After that, this is the XY line. Then here we have the front view. This is the top view. And here is sectional. Left hand side view. And once when I have drawn all of this, the problem gets completed.